all right now you can see that the software i'm about to expose you to can actually send up to 5500 emails from just one sending account and imagine if you have 10 sending account that is going to be over 50,000 emails sent every single day so now if you want to send code emails that get into the inbox folder of your recipient then this is a tool for you you can use this tool to send code emails and send thousands of code emails every single day so woodpecker is one of the best code email software out there especially if you are concerned with getting replies from your code emails and i'm going to show you how to use the software to start sending thousands upon thousands of code emails every single time you need to now once you are here on the woodpecker or official web page i'm going to leave the link down in the video description for easy access or basically you can come over to google and search for woodpecker now you want to come over to the top right here and uh, basically you want to click on this button here that says start by free trial but right before you do that okay please i need you to just clarify that this is the software for you you can go ahead and check through the website and see the fantastic things you can do with woodpecker now once you have been able to conclude on that right you can go ahead and just fit in your personal details to create a free account on the software now i need you to follow me very very closely now if you also want to receive some helpful tips and resources from woodpecker you can go ahead and check mark this post so once done you want to go ahead and click on start my free trial so the sign up process for woodpecker is as very very easy so you don't have to stress yourself with that and yes you can see that we have our account already created for us so now i need you to pay attention and let's see what the software is capable of doing so what i'm going to do is i'm only going to be showing you how to use this tool to send out code emails moreover there are other things and other features that this tool basically can do so one of the major things i want you to do is that you take your time follow this video up to the very end and let's see many other features that you can do using woodpecker now for the first step okay we are going to go ahead and add our email list which is very very important and some of you know this as your prospect so if you have your prospect already which is your code email list you want to go ahead and impute that and many of you who don't know how to get your code emails i have countless of videos here on my channel teaching you how to do that so you can go ahead and watch any video of your choice to learn how to start getting code emails i mean quality code emails so right here for me i'm going to go ahead and click on prospect tab because i already have my email list waiting for me now i'm going to go ahead and click on this small box here and you can see that once i clicked on the box we have three options that that would actually help us add our email list on woodpecker and now let's see that from integration section here if i go ahead and click on integration section here you see that we can actually have our email list imported externally from some other softwares so those of you who have your email list on a different um, email marketing platform you can integrate it here on woodpecker so that the same email list you have on that software is also going to be the same list you have on woodpecker and that's actually one of the mind-blowing features that woodpecker has for every of its users and this is also a good feature for those of you who have your email list on a different email marketing platform you can use this feature to import your list so for me i don't have any of my emails on any of the platform listed here so i'm going to go ahead and click on import my list into woodpecker and um, what i'm going to do right now is i'm just going to select all right okay select the, 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 the email list here and um, you can see once i've been able to find that i'm going to go ahead and choose upload all right and you can see that our emails has already been uploaded you can see successful import and um, one of the things that Woodpecker does is that even while you are importing your emails, it gets to tell you the valid ones and the invalid ones. You can see, for instance, now I imported over a 400 email list on Prospect, and you can see that 338 emails were only imported, and then 87 were duplicate, and five were bad emails. Many other email marketing sources like this don't do this. They only just import your emails, and you know probably you might have some issues that you might not know. But here on Woodpecker, instantly you are being told the amount. Um, amount of emails that is actually good and the ones that are bad you can see that this is actually one great future for you if you are dealing with code emails so woodpecker has the ability to detect bad emails from good ones so once done i'm going to go ahead and click on go to prospect and you can see that we have our emails all imported without any glitch whatsoever so once you've been able to actually import your email list the rest is just going to be a minor thing because this is the actually main important thing you need to know how to do now good so if you're looking closer to my screen you see that we have a notification here 
at the top of the screen now this is the top of the screen and you can see that here is a notification that we need to attend to now this um basically says that we should add our email account and what this means is that how many sending email account do we want to use on woodpecker so for me i'm going to go ahead and click on that okay and then once i click on that you can see that we have three different email providers here and you can just go ahead and go with any of your preference so maybe google whatever one you want to make use of you can go ahead and use that so for me i'm just going to add my sending account manually and i want you guys to also do the same basically if you're making use of a google um you know um service provider maybe at gmail.com uh, you know your normal email address is what you want to use you can use this method of mine to add up your own email sending account so i'm going to add in my e my email address right here and once i've been able to do that i'm going to go ahead and click on automatic connection so what it does is that automatically woodpecker to connect my email address and make it my email sending account and good you can see that so all is going on well so far and in a bit of time we should be done with this so here on this page is where you have to um you know have your sender name okay and if you actually want to go ahead and change this you can go ahead and change that so you have the option in changing the sender name you want to make use of right so you know, once you are done just go ahead and click on save the changes you can see that it's actually a success all right and no issues whatsoever so and now to add your first campaign okay now you want to start blasting out your emails after you've been able to import your email after you've been able to create a sending account you need to learn how to start creating your own first campaign so you want to come over to the campaign at the top right here and you can go ahead and click on add campaign now choose to send an um, email address you want to make use of and i'm going to select this I'm, I'm going to scroll down again and here where we have the subject you want to put in your subject line okay and below it is where you also want to add in your message body so once done you want to go down again and then you want to come over to the prospects tab yeah to select people who should receive your email so if you don't want any of um, everybody to basically receive your emails you can go ahead and select those who you want to receive your emails for me i'm just going to select from database option and then i'm going to go ahead and select all leads because i want to add everybody to receive my emails now once i've been able to do that now you want to come down again to the summary tab to check out everything is well done and ready so once you've been able to verify all of that you can go ahead and click on run so you can see that on woodpecker it is much more easier to start sending out your code emails without any stress without any form of delay so you can basically click on run to start the campaign or you can basically save as a draft if you don't want to send it out right now or you can still go ahead and send an email test campaign to yourself so these are the three options you can go with you can start the campaign immediately you can save it up or you can basically send a text campaign to yourself to see how it looks like and that's actually what you have to do to start sending your code emails here on woodpecker very very simple and very very easy so woodpecker basically is not a free code email tool forever i mean you don't have to use this tool for free i mean for a very long period of time i mean you have to um i think you have a duration of seven days to use the free trial and once that is exhausted you might have to go for a paid plan but you know this actually seven days right using this tool can actually be worth it so you might actually want to try for seven days and if you're happy with the result you are getting you can go ahead and go for a paid plan all right so go ahead and make a plan that basically suits you and um, you know suit your need on the software so woodpecker also has some amazing features to help you become better with every of your code email campaigns and you can actually go through the website be on your dashboard and see other things that you can use this tool to do so if you want to see out more videos like this on woodpecker subscribe okay smash the like button and i'm going to take my time to create more videos on this software because it is actually amazing and a very good one to start using for code email so i'll see you in my other videos and should in case you want to learn how to build up your own code email list this video right here is going to teach you how to do that so thank you so much and i'll see you in that video bye